the next big thing. Austin Air out of Cleveland, Tennessee. Ah! Steal. Six seconds to go. Five, three, two, one, and start the music on Belmont Boulevard. The Bruins are going to the NCAA tournament. Belmont wins the Atlantic Sun Championship 74 to 69 in overtime over arch rival Lipscomb. A classic in Johnson City, and the Bruins win the title. Well, it's one of the greatest things about Championship Week and the NCAA tournament, about the small schools with a story like Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee. In 1997, Belmont went from the NAIA to the NCAA, and this year, nine years later, the school is going to the tournament. <laughs> What a great day for Belmont. What a great day for Belmont basketball. Uh, San Diego. Let's go. What did Coach tell the team before OT? You know, he said there's five minutes left in your season. You know, you can make or break it. You know, and this is a, you know, maybe a once in a lifetime opportunity for you and a, and a dream come true. So just go out there for the next five minutes and give it all you got. And then, uh, good, we came out on top. Well, Coach Bird and Justin Hare, congratulations. We've really enjoyed your honesty. Congratulations to all the Bruins there, and just enjoy this moment. Thanks Thank for you. having us on. Atlantic Sun, Belmont, and Lipscomb, two schools just three miles apart in Nashville. Neither team had ever been. Justin Hare, strong drive, and the foul tied at 58. We go to OT, and in the overtime, it was all Hare for Hare Belmont. Great. Hare was great today. I watched that whole game. He did a wonderful job. 19 points, made all kind of big baskets. He had 30, coach. Career high, 30 points for Hare. Ten of them in the OT. Then it's James Poindexter, the long three. That cuts it to two after two Hare free throws. Under 10 seconds to go. Guess who? It's Hare and Belmont going to the tourney for the first time. The first Middle Tennessee team to dance, and maybe not the last, but the Belmont Bruins make school history on Saturday. Stop the music on Belmont Boulevard. The Bruins are going to the NCAA tournament. This moment shines brighter than any other in Belmont Hoops history. This scene was a short and a long time coming. Belmont makes the jump to Division I only nine years ago, but falls hard at first, winning just 54 of 138 games in the first five seasons. People had a dream at Belmont that uh, you could do this, you could go to Division I and make it work. And who would have thought 10 years ago that Belmont and Lipscomb would play on national television uh, and one of them would go to the NCAA tournament. And here's the toss, the tip. For the overtime. Being able to do that at a small school where nobody thinks, oh, Belmont, where's that at? Where are they from? Well, now they'll know. Now we'll be in the tournament. Now they'll see us in the bracket. And that's kind of what you play for. And that makes that even greater feeling, you know, putting Belmont kind of on the map and letting people know that we're, we're a good basketball team. The storylines make it easy to fall for this Cinderella. The head coach who spends 19 years on the boulevard wins 400 games, and in adding an NCAA appearance to his resume, Rick Bird also understands the agony of defeat. It's an overwhelming feeling uh, to accomplish something that really took so long to get to. How about senior captain Brian Collins, the longtime starter who's a Whites Creek grad? He's Nashville's own. Being on a high level like the NCAA tournament, um, people to see our name, just, it just, it's just a lot, it is a lot for the program, and I'm just glad I had a chance to be a part of the history making team. And in Vince Gill, well, everybody's ready for the next big thing. Belmont even has a celebrity fan base. It almost seems appropriate. One of the premier music schools will represent Music City in the big dance. UCLA guard them on every possession. And Justin Hare, 
average 16 a game on the season. The most valuable player in the Atlantic Sun tournament has his first basket. Russell loses the ball on the pass. UCLA has been really sloppy. Collins from the corner, and that's that three-point shooting. Beware. Allison, and it's batted away by Collins. Back come the Belmont Bruins, and Goodwin, and Herndon. Points here. Goodwin, their best free throw shooter, the left-hander. Herndon, inside, gets the roll this time. Here, hawked by a follow. Back to Hare. And to the big man, Andrew Preston. And a nice move inside, twisting Collins. Long three, and Andy Witt hits the bomb. Out comes Brian Collins, the senior from Nashville. Also out is Andy Wick, a freshman. And Rick Bird, congratulations on this uh, team from Nashville. Belmont Bruins into the tournament for the first time as an NCAA representative after their NAIA years. Just uh, simply overmatched by this uh, powerhouse from UCLA. Ben Allen and Rick Bird with a gentleman's goodbye.